Welcome back to a Windy City They Tan Watch, the channel where truth meets freedom, right here in the heart of Chicago. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest investigations, interviews, and insights. Your support fuels our fight for freedom and truth. So, let's dive into today's journey, armed with knowledge and the relentless spirit of the Windy City. Howdy folks, Windy City Thetan Watch. Sorry, we just got a, a siren as I came up. All right, we're at the Chicago Org. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. My expectation is they've got routers out. I want to see if we can intercept them. Uh, I was watching uh, Shannon as I arrived. So I think Shannon and uh, Israel are here. I, they've got a neat thing going. Uh, they've got two people kind of chatting on the same channel. Uh, I like that. Morning, Carrie. Hello, Dorothy. <laughs> Matthew, thank you so much. Uh, I think they were just through the back alley, so I'm just going to head down the street to the org. Uh, kind of looking around, I'm not really seeing any activity out here right now. We're on Clark, uh, so the org is at 650 South Clark. Audi Denver. Okay. Hey, Pink. <laughs> Jay, were you being an artist today? I can see Israel down there. Last night, we had uh, declared Dave loves suppressive sherry in town and SRA and Trashy. So we were, uh, that was awesome. When, when Dave left, he, uh, he left me uh, a set of books. So uh, I've got some Scientology media that I'll be able to do some, some, cha uh, some content on. How you doing? I'm just going to look for routers. I th she's in back, right? Yes. Um, so that's uh, Israel. And uh, they're, I think they're both chatting on the same channel, which is really cool because they can cover more ground that way. Uh, it's just beautiful here. I think it was supposed to be low 70s, and we might be low 80s right now. Um, my expectation is that um they have to be out today there's no way in the world they would skip a day like this so i'm kind of going to be on a, a searching mission you're going to see a little bit of the city uh, a little bit of the neighborhood just see if i can find out where they'd be at um i'm gonna take a shot down dearborn i'll go down state street and i'll even go as far as grant park um I don't think I've ever really shown you uh, Grant Park, but last night was it? Yeah, last night. Uh, I think Trashy and SRA started over at Grant Park, so got some great statuary down there. Oop, let me see what I've got here. Um, if you. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to, I had the the best time on, was it Wednesday night? Um, Wednesday night, they kept on trying to send the routers out and they'd have their security guard kind of um, looking out the door, trying to see if I was there. And he just was terrible at it. And he kept on sending the body routers right into me. And they would try to sneak around the back of the building and I would catch them back there. Um, it was It was very much fun. Uh, then, uh, I finally said, Hey, just stay in there. And last night I was here 
Um, but I was kind of more concentrating on helping Dave and Sherry navigate the area. But the first thing that happened was saw the body router and I just tell, told him, hey, go back inside there and don't come out. We never saw him uh, again that night. So maybe I have greater powers than I've ever imagined. All of the sidewalk cafes are open today. You know, I, I'm gonna, this, oops, sorry. This statement, I think we as humans really, um, we get worried about that, but at the end of the day, the dogs seem happy as a pig in a poke um, in that. So I, I just feel like they adapt to it and it doesn't bother them. They're unaware of the fact that they only have three legs. Uh, we're heading up Dearborn Street right now. Oh, I, have, I didn't give you the nice view of the, uh, the clock tower. All right, so we've got the Dearborn Station behind me and the clock tower. Uh, that's got to be tough. <laughs> no, as I consistently told the police every time that they've been here, we have no leader. There are no bosses. But I'm okay being a boss of the, uh, the body routing team. I'll also say this, that um, uh, Jessica... The, the female that tried to route somebody away from me, I don't know, three weeks ago, but that, that person called me back and said, listen, I, I'm glad you talked with me. I went online and researched and I'm not joining the church. Um, I've really been hammering her on the, are you okay that this church won't let women report abuses against them? Uh, it's okay for a church member to uh, attack and abuse another church member and they're not allowed to report it. And it just feels like the wheels are spinning when I'm saying that. <laughs> I fully get that. <laughs> yes, there is, but how are you gonna get them picked up? And by the time we get them to you, we're gonna be down to two ribs and no sauce. That's the, uh, the old Korean War drama with Alan Alda. And I can't remember, was it, because Clear came from Toledo, Ohio. Who was the one that was in Chicago? Was it just that um, Hawkeye had passed through Chicago and knew about it? All right, so we've now done, um, I'm gonna go one street further because when I come back on State Street, I wanna be at the college level when we go through there. Uh, if you're newer to the channel, um, down here, that large building at the T intersection, that is college housing. Uh, on this street, uh, we've got the Starbucks pickup, and there's a Geno's East down here. And on this side, you've got Potbelly, and then the, uh, the vast majority of it is a boutique hotel and a Melly's Diner at the end. Melly's Diner is kind of cool. They've got the um, mechanical orange juice squeezer that's just squeezing orange juice all day long. Ah, thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking for white sleeves and vests. Uh, they will show out on a day uh, show up on a day like today. Again, we're seeing some of the uh, commissioned graffiti. So Chicago allows commissioning of graffiti 
uh, the streets and sanitation will clean up um, any other graffiti that's not commissioned. So in the alley, they've um, they've removed some graffiti from the alley behind. They've re removed some graffiti from the alley behind there. All it is, I'm sure it was Scientology calling them, but uh, if you call 311, the streets and sand will come out and they'll power wash the building to remove that. This street is Plymouth Court. Uh, it's kind of a quiet street, only at the far end is there really um, entrances on this side. This is almost an alley entrance to most of the businesses that are on Dearborn. Welcome, it's really me. Corn, I was just past the org. I'm out kind of searching to see if there's any routers out here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm sure they've got routers somewhere. Um, they might even have put them on the train, sent them far away because um, I, I'm comfortable and confident saying that I've thwarted their efforts quite a bit close to the organization. You can see ahead of me, there's some artwork for another Columbia College location, right? So you've got these uh, these blue signs that say, what, um, University Center tour today, Roosevelt University. So this building is both Roosevelt University as well as DePaul uh, has some, some locations in there. And then Columbia is the building in front of it. That's actually the John, it used to be called John Marshall. Yeah, John Marshall Law. Uh, here we see Robert Morris Center. Robert Morris, also a university. Um, usually down there, it's their um, their school bookstore. So you're seeing all of the uh, branded sweatshirts and, and t-shirts and such. Again, in this neighborhood, street level is retail, just 100% retail. Uh, on my right-hand side is a CVS. And then the end of this block is Residential. Oh, you know what? I was mistaken on this. This building, it, there's no DePaul presence in here. The DePaul presence is two buildings up um, on Jackson Street. So Jackson's uh, DePaul's bookstore is on Jackson. But uh, I hope you're getting an indication of how densely populated this is with college age students. Just to play the light here, I'm not seeing anything down this street. We'll head over to Wabash. We're behind the block where Wabash moved, where the L tracks moved from being over Wabash Street to the alley between Wabash and State Street. So if you're ever on this train, um, <laughs> and every once in a while it'll have to stop here because there's a, um, a corner or a signal just a, a bit ahead of it, you'll end up stopping on the train and everything on the train feels like it's gonna fall out uh, one door or the other, depending on which direction you're headed. Again, we've got some beautiful graffiti down there. I don't know if you're seeing it that far. Let me go to uh, the telephoto camera. So you've got the graffiti down there. Uh, that's a neat, the building to its right is called the South Loop Club, Club, and that used to be an old hotel. And it's one of those old niche hotels where like there's a little cubby hole for the phone, even though nobody uses phones anymore. So that's rather interesting. You can see here as we go south, the L tracks are in the alley. And then it transitions here on the north side to be uh, in the in the street. Oh, and there's a train right now. You can see the train, and it, you could. I think you'll be able to see a tilt already from there. Yeah, I'm sure they were earlier. So when Trashy showed up, uh, we found. I think SRA found one at the south uh, intersection where Polk was, and they chased him back to the org. And then when he got back to the org, I just told him to stay in there, 
uh, and we never saw him again that night. Uh, so here's some more you know, uh, graffiti. The moose has been there forever. Um, these uh, iconic women, um, this is rather new. And then uh, this is, again, uh, the, uh, it's the backside of a Roosevelt uh, residence, and it says Harmony in multicolors there. This is kind of cool. Every once in a while when I want to treat myself, I'll come here and I'll have them uh, shave my beard and um, shave my head just to feel like the old gangsters. Yeah, I think that's a fairly good policy, right? That uh, in, in general, I would, I would suggest to almost all protesters, if you could be uh, with others, it's better. You know, the, the two cameras, the idea that if you've got your camera going, um, you're kind of protected right up until they walk inside of your camera. So I would, I would definitely encourage people to find friends to come out here with. And you don't have to both stream. You know, again, Israel, I, I know Israel's streaming today, but normally he's just out here being supportive. Corn was somebody who would just come out and be supportive. Juanita is somebody who just comes out and she's supportive of us. So, um, and it's, it's really appreciated. Um, we, you know, again, it's more eyes on the street so we can just see more activity. What would be wonderful is if we see a table down here or something. I'm still trying to develop people at the college to let me know when they see um, people leaving the church with a table or something like that. Bunch of youngins on some, uh, like the, the mini scooters just went by there. Hopefully the picture is doing pretty well. Uh, it looks really clear on this side, but again, I have no idea how well it transmits. Uh, I think I've got really good service usually when I'm down here. Uh, you're hearing street performer. This is also fun. Uh, the, it's actually just uh, the barber shops playing something on a speaker right now. We're going to walk into the park. Uh, I'm just going to walk north and south on Michigan Avenue. So we're at Michigan Avenue, if you're unaware. Um, Columbia College, let's give some cred. So here's uh, Jehovah's Witness out tonight. But uh, Columbia College, these are just some of the accolades for their students. And so this is the, um, the photography museum. And it's where coursework is taken for Columbia College. And remember, these are the people that live right next door to the the cult over on Clark. All right, I'm not going to do that, but yes, they the church does do that. I'm not confident I look good in diaper. Part of the iconic skyline. That used to be the Standard Oil building. Um, darn it, I don't know who it's branded to now. Um, I've totally forgotten who's got the naming rights for that building. At one time, that was the tallest building in the world. Uh, and then Sears Tower came along. We are, again, in the park. Uh, if you've ever been here before, so I'm at Harrison and uh, Michigan Avenue. There's a set of train tracks that runs down the middle of the park. Um, that uh, that kind of divides it. There's bridges or driving bridges to go over. You might be able to see through here the, the, the rise in the bridge there. Um, I do love this city and uh, in this next, in the next block, uh, and again, I'm just kind of keeping my eye out for the protester, uh, not protest, the Scientology 
um, garb that they've got. Uh, in order for them to be down here, they should have to have a permit, but you know, does anybody want to guess how many times they've actually gotten a permit to do that? Beautiful art. So Chicago's got incredibly diverse public art and I, I just love public art. It's, it's free. Uh, some guys running their motorcycles pretty loud. Not sure if the mic's hiding it from you there, but. There's a sign in this next uh, portion of the garden. So every once in a while, I'll talk to you about the Hilton Hotel, and this is the Hilton. Very, very large hotel. Uh, as we look up, right, we're, we're seeing that. It's nice to see leaves on trees right now. We've been cold for so long. Not really seeing anything. Um, related to Scientology down here right now. There is a plaque down here uh, that was placed in memory of Montgomery Ward. Montgomery Ward is the person who, uh, at, at one point in time, most of the retail titans lived in Chicago. So um, Marshall Field, Mon Montgomery Ward, Sears, um, uh, J.C. Penney. And the, um, Montgomery Ward kind of solicited from all of them the donations, which was the seed money to uh, forever and always make sure that this park remained free to the people. Uh, and there are no buildings uh, in this the only building that actually is considered to be in the park is the Chicago Art Institute. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit north and then we'll head back to the org. Um, just that I'm not seeing anybody out here. Um, <clears throat> if Scientology was smart and on occasion they are, they're sending their people as far away from the blast radius as possible, knowing that, that we're really going to thwart their efforts. Um, now, in those, on those days, what I'm really hoping for then is that I'm seeing people walk down the street with their tickets, um, which they've acquired elsewhere. Ah, you know what? That's another opportunity, though. Hey, where did, you, where did they hand this to you? So we'll see if we figure that out. Uh, they were both. So Sears was 100% that um, until they started to do the retail because that's how he got his start. And I remember there's some relationship with Roebuck. Roebuck might have been the first one that was brick and mortar. Um, but they all had a retail presence, uh, an actual hard brick and mortar retail presence eventually. But they did start as that. Um, if, you, if you ever go online or if you've ever seen the old Sears catalogs. It's like you can buy your old Levi's and get them shipped out to the West. When I was a kid, <laughs> guys doing wheelies. Um, when I was a kid, you always loved around Christmas time when the Sears catalog would come out and you would just wish upon wish in there. Now, granted, you weren't going to get anything from there, but you wished it. If you ever come up here, um, there's a, a spot up by Goose Island where the Marshall Fields, I'm sorry, the Montgomery Ward's um, warehouses were out, were at, and they had a bunch of barge bays there. So right now it's a beautiful residential building, um, but at that point in time, that's kind of how they sorted and delivered everything. That's, that was the staging grounds for all of the outbound packages.
the other fun thing to look in those magazines is to see prices. So this is the Congress Hotel. Um, it used to, well, the, again, the road that is on its side used to be called Congress Hotel. I'm sorry, it used to be called uh, Congress Expressway. Uh, it has now been renamed as the Ida B. Wells um, Drive, I think. Yep. So you're seeing Congress Hotel there. I think that this was um, the cover photo from Trashy last night. For the longest time, um, both the Indian, uh, well, the Indian on one side has, this guy is attempting to throw a spear. And the Indian on the far side, which I'm not sure if you can get it that well there, it's between the trees. He's pulling a bow and arrow back. The spear and the bow and arrow were continually stolen, so we now no longer have those. So again, we're seeing Roosevelt University. Uh, this is classrooms on the lower levels and uh, there's an auditorium in there as well. This is one of the most finely acoustically tuned auditoriums in the world. One of those old, you drop a pin in the back and you could hear it anywhere. But again, we're now what, four blocks away from the organization and we've come across yet another large university presence. I'm gonna go one block uh, further north and then we'll head back towards the org. They don't seem to be down here in the park today, so. If we look at these buildings up there, you've got the Prudential Tower, and there's a Prudential One and Prudential Two. The one with the pointy element is uh, the newer building. The Wave is something you'll see right there uh, next to the tall column. The tall column, again, was a standard building, um, but, oh, it's, it's Aeon now, I think. that It might be Aeon or, or something like that. And then in the corner up here, I don't know if you'll catch it very well, but that's the uh, stone container building with the diamond-shaped top, which you'll always see on um, Chicago uh, skyline pictures. You can see the very tip of Trump Towers and well ahead of us is that's in the middle of the street there. Those are the, the top posts of Bloomingdale. Bloomingdale is 900 North Michigan. Uh, right across the street basically at 875 is the John Hancock Tower. The John Hancock, remember, is the, the symmetrical tall tower, whereas the Sears Tower uh, is the um, oddly stacked squares, which were presumably inspired by when you, uh, when you used to pull cigarettes out of a, uh, when you wanted to reach into a pack of cigarettes, pull out a cigarette, you'd bring it up and he realized that, hey, if you've got three of these things together at different heights, they're still much stronger than any one. Thank you, Bridge. That is awesome. I love these stories. Were they on the beach in their um, in their formal attire, or do they kind of have beach appropriate clothing? I used to live in a Sears home that you would order it in the magazine and they would deliver it uh, in parts like almost a modular home and put it together for you.
Got a formally dressed guy over here, but he looks just that he's well dressed tonight. Yeah, nothing there. This is that intersection of the trains. So the, this is the southeast corner of the loop uh, and the trains that are coming up from, you know, the, when you saw me along Wabash, uh, those trains enter the loop uh, right here. And sometimes there's a train coming from the north that's going to take a right-hand turn. So the trains coming up from the south have to stop and let that occur. This is the, uh, used to be the CNA building. Uh, a couple of years ago, Northern Trust bought it, brought, bought it out. Uh, and the Chicago Housing Authority has an office in here. We're heading back to the org now. Just haven't seen anything, any activity out here. A uh, bit of a shot of the Trump Tower up there. Gotcha. Thanks, Matthew. I'm pretty sure this is in reference to the uh, the body router that he found on Venice Beach. Thank you, Sally. I'm pretty sure I have a name, but I've totally forgotten it. It might be called Windy City Walks Chicago or Windy City Wanders Chicago. Uh, there are no videos there. I've just kind of put up the uh, the banner and the um, the icon. So now we're back to the Chicago Public Library. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the rooftop there, right? the ornate uh, copper work that's up there. Head straight across here. I'm gonna jog a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull the zoom off. I'm gonna put us back on the other camera. Thank you for taking up the mantle, Sally. If any of you are interested in becoming a mod, uh, I would definitely encourage you to look on, on Jen Wah's channel. You'll see um, kind of moderator 101 and uh, in two parts with uh, Ellie, uh, Jen, Jen Wah. Um, I can't remember if Lorraine was one of the speakers in that as well, but it's just great information. What what are the right things and wrong? What are some bad things you want to avoid as a moderator? How do you help out the creators? Uh, I'm going to tell you that, uh, especially like in the last 20 minutes, and I'm sorry it was boring that we always saw this cool architecture of a lovely city. Um, I have to be scanning the streets to see if I can find any of the routers out here so i can't pay attention to the chat uh, they're the ones that are helping keep it a sane and safe place and i really appreciate that same thing at the organization you know if i get involved in a, in a conversation with somebody i really want to make sure that i'm making my presence known in real time to the person that i'm talking to so it's it's very helpful that we've got the mods out there 
Additionally, if you're thinking about becoming a, uh, a creator, uh, MLH has a couple um, videos on that. I think it's three, but uh, Ellie will probably have to catch me up on that. We're about three blocks away, right? So we're on Plymouth. We'll head back down. Uh, I'll go over to Dearborn. We've got a bright light out here today. If you're looking uh, forward, that's the Chicago Stock Exchange. Uh, I think I've shown you that picture uh, from the other side. Uh, where this this road goes underneath two buildings. It goes underneath the stock exchange and it goes underneath the old post office. Hi, Audi, Miss Kim. We're about two blocks away from the, the org. Uh, I just kind of went on a scouting trip to see if I could find any body routing teams out in the local area. Um, I'm pretty sure Free Zeno was out here earlier. I know Corn was out here earlier. Not sure if they saw any body routers. Uh, they did say that the, uh, the, the doors and the shades were pulled very quickly. Mexican's a hoot to watch because he's kind of a crossover between um, protesting and First Amendment uh, auditing. And while, uh, again, it's the, again, preserving the rights of the First Amendment, but at the end of the day, it's creating accountability for those that have power. Um, unfettered power can be very uh, abusive and uh, cause a great deal of harm to the community. So it's very important that we, we try to make sure that we're holding people accountable for their actions. At the end of the day, that's really what my objective is here, holding the church accountable for the crimes that it's committing on a daily basis. They, they absolutely will, um, and there's a couple of reasons. We've definitely seen them in Grant Park, um, they, uh, they've been out to the, if you look at a Chicago map, there's a neighborhood called Chatham. That's one we've had reports on. Um, that's one where they were handing out flyers for Easter. Um, it, it gets them out of my blast radius. And, and I don't mean, my, it gets them out of any auditing and protesting blast radius. So, um, if they stay close to the org, I'm gonna do whatever I can to alert and inform every single person that they try to pass a flyer out to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever laughed so much doing this. And, um, Hey, I need to redo that video and lower the music. I didn't realize it was so high, but also, I don't know what the name of the music is, but um, either Keystone Cops or uh, the old Benny Hill um, music is really what that should be. Oh, one second. <laughs> I just crossed over, but you can see we've got Free Zenu. Uh, beta, and I think corn. Howdy, no one.
this light has a very long left-hand turn when you're coming north, so it takes a while to walk back and forth across this. Uh, right there, you can see Free Zunu Project, Corn, uh, Corn Freak, and just a local protester. How you doing? Not bad, yourself? Are you guys just hanging out here? Are you going to head back over there? Or? Over there. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. How are you feeling today? Good, good. How are you doing, Corn? It's okay to lose a lie. I just want to take a good shot of that. Nice. Same on both sides? Okay. I haven't seen anybody yet. Um, when I first got here, I saw that um, Shannon was here and Israel were here. So I kind of said, okay, well, if they're covering this, I'm going to search. I went all the way to Grant Park, found nobody. So not sure where they're at or if, if they're out today. Um, if they're smart, they're getting on, they're, they're moving themselves away from the org in order to do it. Yes, <laughs> I loved it. Here we go. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was tired. So um, I've been out here a lot uh, and Last night when I got home, I'll bet it was only nine o'clock, but I went to bed and I just crashed. <laughs> so we're coming up on the org. Yes. Yes. So it's funny, when we think about greater, they're very liberal in that term. Chicago is part of the greater Cincinnati area now. <laughs> Dave's a great one to watch. We're talking about Declare Dave and Love Suppressive Sherry. He's a great one to watch because he has a lot of the um, reading materials in the magazines and he'll sit down and he'll go through those and read them, uh, read them back to us. So uh, I love that. Yeah, four minutes. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. I actually tried to ask him. I said, hey, can I ask you a question about Luther? He's like, go to the website. I'm like, no, but you're on that. Like, everyone wanted to ask you a question. I'm not here. I'm like, wait, see? He just said, I'm going to go to the website. Yeah. Looks like I don't recognize the other two. Howdy. I'm putting it up. Thanks. Hey, Shannon. How are you out? Are you out? Um, just taking pictures? Okay. Um, is it related to the church or the architecture? Okay. So there's a, a team out here filming for school. Is there any additional information you'd like, or do you know much about the church? I, or what research have you done? I don't know anything. Okay. I'm not, yeah, it's, he's the one doing it. I'm just here to support. Nice. <laughs> you get points for that. I get the points for that. <laughs> Right. Just get reactions um, from any students or anything about how they feel, if they feel like anything really. Uh, yeah. We don't really know much about anything. Okay. It's 
it's an interesting, it's called a church. It's in no way a church. There's no religious, religious studies. There's no, this is a student. So she's a student that was harassed uh, the day of the protest. So I would definitely see if you can get an interview with her uh, in this spot. But this church is, um, does things like child trafficking, uh, abuse of children, abuse of the elder. Uh, they were the chase wave. So if you go back in time and you look up the chase wave, they would, they know their social security numbers of all their, uh, members. So they would open up credit cards and bankrupt all their people in that process. Uh, eventually chase had to shut it down. That was, it was big news. And then, uh, what last October, Danny Masterson was convicted. He's still a member in good standing with this church. He is accused of raping three people in the church. He was one that, that I yeah. um, So the church, if you're assaulted by a member of the church, they will ostracize you. They call it, um, uh, they'll declare you a suppressive person or declaring you. They'll declare you as a suppressive person if you go to the police because they want to handle everything internally. So that's our new neighbors. Now, if you go in there, um, they'll have video presentations and it'll look so it's first date stuff, right? It's the, Oh, we can help you with anger management. We can help you with relationship building. And then all of a sudden you realize that, wait, I just spent a hundred thousand dollars going up, uh, the, they call it the bridge to little freedom. And by the time you're OT three, you learn that you're here because 76 million years ago, some guy in a called Xenu in a faraway galaxy rounded up all of the bad people because it was overcrowding brought them to earth, put them in a volcano, dropped uh, hydrogen bombs on them. They came in a DC 10, 76 million years ago. So this guy's a science fiction writer. That's what these people believe. Okay. <laughs> it's a dangerous, dangerous cult. So I appreciate you're out here. Yeah, the, yeah that's the thing is, everyone's like, oh, South Park is jacked up. Like, no, they were no, dead no, on. <laughs> I, I told her, I was like, I don't know anything except what I saw in South Park and I bet they're right. Excellent. Thank you. I don't mean to tear up here, but I didn't hear what you were um, So what brought you guys out there? She just filmed for a school project. Okay. Well, um, she was just studying. Give yeah. us some information because I closed the work. Yeah. 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 Is it a Liz, 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 No, that's, that's our YouTube. Oh. The, there's... Liz, 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 that's right. You're yeah. right. Yeah, that's... that. Children can't consent. That's tragic. So it's very likely that those children were in there and they do something called a purification rundown. They believe that they're going to get all of the bad juju out of your body by, they put you in a sauna for up to five hours a day and they give you niacin, which is a, a vitamin, one of the vitamin Bs, up to 5,000 milligrams a day. Any medical doctor will tell you 50 is about the max. Like if you look at the back of a cereal box, it's going to say you've gotten your daily recommended dose at 50. So... Um, and again, children can't consent. Those those parents are in the church, and now those children de facto in the church. So, um, uh, can I ask what the project is about? Thank you all. Sorry about that. And you know what? I wasn't paying attention to you. I wanted to talk to the people that are doing the uh, the documentary. Yep. I've got a short video on the story of Zeno um, that I kind of did, uh, you know, animated a little bit that was in there. So last night, you can't, right now you can't see the, the, the bird shit on the window, but you can see the shadow of the bird shit on the shade. Um, just a reminder that when college students come by, I don't need to be putting pressure on them. So I'm usually lifting the camera up so that they're not uh, seeing the same thing. Uh, so right now, as we look forward here, 
you can see that you know craftsmanship is very important uh, if you're going to do a job do it right but you can see the seam there um, on that okay, window so and you can see they've done it very poorly right it overlaps a little bit and then if we come down here uh, you've got again the gap in the the stick on uh, show. Is is Israel kind of out back watching that door? Is Israel out back watching that door? Okay. Nice. Uh, the pizza place is dead empty right now. So they've adopted LRH policy and decided empty is the best way to to go. I'm sure that their promos will tell us that they had 7,000 people in there today. That it does, Sally, that it does. Oh, Israel's right here with uh, corn, so he wasn't around back. You're fine. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make You're fine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. I saw somebody's feet up right here. What time is it? It's coming up on four o'clock. Um, they'll be here for another two hours to the, let's say, uh, the unindoctrinated public. So the hours say until six o'clock, but they really are here until 10 o'clock every night. Uh, and if you're a public and you have to take service or do purification, uh, you're still coming in. Last night we saw that they shut the lights off because they realized that if the lights are on, we can see in there. Uh, because at night, those blinds, uh, they'll well, during the day, those blinds reflect us out, right? Because there's so much light outside and it's dark inside. But at night, it's light inside and dark outside. So it's like looking through paper. Uh, as we look down the alley, uh, there's nothing there um, right now. They, if you're newer to the channel, but I recognize this. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I heard her, and I thought I heard her name. I heard, I heard um, Shannon. Me and Shannon. I know. I saw that. We're not, I'm, you, right now, it's on mute. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that. I like that idea. Here, say hello. How's everybody doing? There's Wendy. I, I think she's got somebody out front, though. Yeah, she was out. Okay. Excellent. Yep. So it's not necessarily a shift change, but kind of a break uh, at the top of the hour. Um, it'll be people coming off course. Uh, we saw the young people coming out, uh, you know, the family that came out in front uh, just moments ago. Uh, they use this corridor a lot. Uh, I will say that either they're watching the stream or they're using their cameras. And if I'm at the south end of the alley, they'll route everybody north in the alley. And if I'm at the north end of the alley, they'll route, route them south. Thank you much. Yes, yes. The the two other people that are out there, they're doing a documentary for Columbia, oh, and sorry. I think they would love to do an interview if you if you have a yes. feeling. And I always do, but right now I'm I understand. My I understand. I understand. Thank you, guys. No problem. Uh, so that's somebody who, um, and you know, she just doesn't need to be on camera all the time. Uh, she had a hard time the grand opening day. Uh, and she struggles with 
I'm going to say one of the muscular, um, degenerative muscular diseases. Uh, so her being locked out of her apartment that day was very traumatic on her. Uh, and, and again, I, I don't mean to make that any way, uh, any way a light element, that uh, it would have sucked for an able-bodied person and somebody who struggles with that. You, know, you can't even get to your home uh, and your, it's your castle. A question on, I, I have heard other people doing it more than once. Is it, um, does it, is it a feel good thing or is it a, uh, somebody believes it didn't work the first time? Why would you go through, um, purification a second, uh, more than once? Uh, I'm really just down here because, uh, again, at the top of the hour, we're probably going to see people coming out the back door. Uh, more often than that, they come uh, out the back door, down this alley, then they'll come across the street, and they're in the imprint building right there. Yeah, are, are you uh, a title creator out in, the, in Hollywood, Matthew? You've been killing it lately. I'm going to say that it would be sheer madness, but... I like sheer tech as well. This is the exit of the garage for the people that are parked. You know, you'll see that parking um, entrance right by uh, the entrance of the org. Uh, to catch you up on some of the stuff that goes on here. So this is the, the dumpsters for Scientology are back here. Uh, what, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago at this point, Trashy was able to uh, find just a, a treasure trove of documents in there. And then starting three days ago, uh, I saw that they had put a lock on here. So they, they did put a lock across there. But apparently on Thursday night, they take the lock off. Uh, well, I, I'm going to, that's a, a guess. Friday evening at four o'clock, I was here. And when I was here, the um, the garbage can was empty and there was no lock. So I assume that that's because the disposal company came and picked it up. Um, so if it's a scheduled element, now you could get your garbage picked up by call or you could get it by once a week uh, they do it. So it might be that Thursday nights are the night for us to come and figure out what we can find in a dumpster. So this person right here lives in the buildings that, um, if you were if you were watching on the day of the org opening, um, this was uh, that was the building that Leah was able to get up into. Uh, just going up because we had some neighbor people come through. Back in this direction, right, we've got the metro tracks that are right there. Uh, these are most of the, most of these rails are servicing the south and southwest suburbs. Oh, this is fun. I don't know if anybody can read that. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to go ahead and hold that up. Rather comical. Let's see if it'll sit in there. I won't live there for long. The Hollywood team would be proud of us. We found duckies. I'm going to scroll back up, see if there's any interesting chats that I missed. 
100%, right? That um, I look at uh, J different, Jay's active, right? Um, and Jay, uh, the artwork, the hard work that he puts into it, that's amazing. Uh, you've got the, you know, the, the, the loud shouters, um, uh, Shannon, uh, Pearl Snappy, right? They're aggressive and vocal in that process. Awesome, right? And we need all of them. That looks like a new name. Welcome, Tim Harrison. Glad you're here. Uh, we are outside the, well, we're in the alley uh, of the Chicago org. Uh, we didn't, I know that Freezinu was here this morning with uh, Corn Freak and uh, Veda. And uh, they got the building locked up pretty quickly. Uh, within four minutes, they had the doors closed and the, and the shades down. Which is very common, right? The, the door has been inconsistent. So sometimes they'll close the door. Other times they'll leave the door open and try to play music. Um, partially to get a copyright strike, uh, but also to maybe drown us out a little bit as people are walking into the org. have not been seeing much police activity here uh, recently. Um, the, the last person right, said, hey, they called because you were filming. And, and that means they said, yep, you're fine. Now, I will say I was slightly concerned that they said, um, be careful. Uh, and it's like, uh, I don't really need that kind of warning unless you know something that I'm in danger of. And if you do, you should disclose that. Ah, okay, and th that makes sense, right? Um, so it, uh, that comment is in reference to earlier, um, no one had mentioned that she had taken the, the purification rundown more than once. Oh, there is a uh, Scientologist at the top, but he's an old, older staff member. Uh, I can just see the gold vest up there. And I see corn coming back up to the front. Uh, a couple of people going into the college. Since corn's out front, I'm going to kind of stay down here, see if I can intercept uh, any of the staff members that are leaving there. Uh, just absorbing the environment causes you to take more drugs in again. Well, maybe if he hadn't used hydrogen bombs and volcanoes, we wouldn't have bad things in the environment. We've got a good crowd out here today. Uh, we've got uh, Shannon, Chicago Scientology Audit, and uh, uh, Israel. Uh, I think that they've got a new name for him over on that channel. And then you saw Zenu and Corn Freak. Or, uh, sorry, Free Zenu Project. And Corn Freak. Oh, that's a great question, Dorothy. Thank you. Oh, and I, I, Sally's the same thing, right? Yeah. I keep on forgetting that nothing you do here is for free. So I'm sure there's a fee attached to doing your purification rundown. My duck card has moved. walk down to the garbage can. There are two new signs on the garbage can. Sorry, I just put the uh, the duck card underneath that ball. Uh, there are two new, oh, there is a staff member out. He's gonna get a cigarette and he's gonna have to take a quick smoke break. 
because they're allergic to me. <laughs> He's already gone back in. On this view, so when I've got the camera this far out, were you able to see that person in the alley? Uh, I do think I'm going to kind of camp back here for a little bit because uh, they'll be between courses. Yeah. Hello, sweet Lily. Welcome in. This is the garbage can, right? So there's the locks. And we've got the uh, sptvfoundation.org in there. Um, this car is a little suspect, right? Um, the car doesn't look like it belongs with all the others. It's running right now, and there is somebody in the car. So um, maybe they're just hanging out. Uh, but again, it's not... It's not unheard of that Scientology would have uh, people out here monitoring the area. Here's the large construction right behind the Scientology building. Uh, and again, uh, they've weathered it uh, in as they go up the building. Anything good to talk about on the church? <laughs> There'll be no cigarette today. How, how about that? Yeah. Um, the one line that I love is um, LRH said people get cancer because they don't smoke enough. Uh, and uh, as an endurance athlete, one of the things that I love watching is the Tour de France. And in the early days of the Tour de France, when they started putting the mountains in, you would always see the cyclists smoking because they thought it opened up their lungs to get up the mountains. Absolutely. Uh, now there's probably going to be somebody, you know, there's three cameras here. You've got the, the camera in the corner that's pointing this direction. There's a very small camera in here uh, that you can see by the light bulb or behind the light bulb. Uh, and then on the other edge of the building, not sure if you see that because you've got so much sunlight behind it. Uh, but we've got another camera right here. What else? So there's, I can't tell what this is. It looks like it might be some packaging uh, of something. Yeah, I feel bad. I saved him from cancer. Now if I could just save him from the cult. Um, it looks like it's just extraneous uh, packaging uh, from something that came in. But it also, did, uh, the way the wind works in the city, it's ridiculous that these tall buildings create canyons and you know you can see on the weather map that it's a hard wind out of the south and you'll be somewhere in the city and you're just seeing the wind come from all four directions at all times uh, because it'll wrap around a building or something like that so uh, very possible that uh, that's not necessarily them littering and that the wind collected that in there You know, that's interesting. I too have never seen that. And by the way, I don't know the economic, I don't smoke and I don't vape. Um, you know, I've never seen them put something out in here. They'll, they'll put it in a garbage can. If they're walking down the street um, before they come in, 
they'll put it in the garbage cans out front. But yeah, there is nothing back here. Oh, and I am, you know, now as I look down, uh, you are seeing cigarette butts. So this one is Crush, and it looks like it's got a camel on it. So I don't know if camel's been rebranded to have Crush or if that's just another uh, flavor in the camel element. But yeah, all over here. Oh, and this looks like a roll your own. Um, and I guess if you're a Scientologist, you're probably bored as hell and you have no problem. Um, spending that kind of time. Oh my gosh. Over here. All of the. Where's. Uh, there's no external ashtray that I'm seeing. I don't know if anybody can help me out there. Oh. Yeah, going back to the cigarettes versus vape, um, is is vape more affordable than cigarettes? Or I assume it depends on how fast you consume the the liquid or whatever. Um, but. The other question then is that is that a chemical whereas they don't consider nicotine to be a chemical wait so explain this that um if you don't crush it you're just smoking a regular one but then if you do crush it there's like a vial inside the filter or something that um, releases the, the menthol? I can't imagine that. My understanding is that cigarettes are like $10 a pack right now. Um, and I can't imagine the Chicago city tax makes that any easier to do. Um, how in the world are these people affording this? Thank you, sweet Lily. Not really seeing much back here. I don't know if uh, if there's any activity out front. Let me take a walk to the top of the alley, see if there's anything going on in Harrison. That's, wow. I, I, I would just imagine the economic stops people from smoking. But again, addiction's addiction, and you're probably gonna pay whatever it takes. Awesome. I love that. Let's see if I can get this one all the way around. All right, this was, oops, I'm not even on it, sorry. That was a great job. Trashy got him. You know, that's, I, next time I come up, um, I'll try to get it on more of a Zoom camera. And also when I have the, uh, I can't stream live when I have my uh, mirrorless camera out, um, but I could probably get some incredibly good static films on that. Maybe I need to find a, a harness that I can just kind of put on my chest 
so that the uh, the live is just streaming off my chest, uh, and then I can still use my uh, my more powerful camera to do the um, uh, better video. Now, I will tell you that unless you've done something to really piss off a cop, they're not going to uh, get you on littering. Yeah, they'll add it on as a ticket if you've been uh, stopped and you've been kind of a, a jackalope to them on the stop. But one hundred percent agree. And in your time, looking kind of slow down here. We do have a police presence. Uh, not sure if they're inside or not. Oh, there's routers. Oh, this is my day. <laughs> All right, folks, we're gonna jog a little bit here. <laughs> Guess who that is? <laughs> so those are the routers. They're, they've got flyers. They've got flyers. So the white jacket, we saw him the other day. He's in the video. I kind of want to get some confidence, get a little further away from the org. And then there's the more ethnically looking person with the curly hair. I don't recognize the red jacket. I'm gonna let them cross the street. So, oh, look. I'm kind of just sticking my head out here to see which direction they go. They are looking backwards just to make, well, they're looking backwards. I don't want to try and get into their mind. And that might be why the cop was at the top of the street. They might be trying to do the old setup work. So corn's down there, actually. Can I ask you what you're doing, sir? <laughs> you can absolutely ask me what I'm doing. So corn's, corn's right there. Uh, I don't know. So the person in red is on the phone, probably back to the org, if not talking to the police. We're blocking the center. Yeah. I want to see if he'll cross the street, though. Oh. He handed some out. You know you're not supposed to be handing those out, but I'll get, a little, I'll get those back for you. Don't worry about it. Ladies, that's a cult. I don't know if you were, if you took the flyer. Don't take the flyer. Huh? She was standing right here. She walked. I, I don't know. She might have gone to the alley.
I'm going to put it on zoom for just a second. I want to get a better picture of the white jacket face. Yeah, so the other one I've seen a thousand times, the white jacket guy, he was, the first time we saw him was um, last Wednesday. Oh, sorry. So I think they're heading back to the org. Pretty sure they're going to head back to the org, but you'll see them on, we'll see that on Zenia's channel, pre Zenia Project. The part that I love there is um, the, um, do you mean that I'll be able to dodge bullets? He goes, you won't have to dodge bullets. Even I keep running into you just like the Santos do. No, I saw you, I saw you down here. I wanted to, unfortunately, what I wanted them to do is feel comfortable they could walk off the street. Um, Cause if they get further away, they have to take a walk. I'm, I'm just going down here to see if I find out where that red jacket went. I think the red jacket okay. went down I just down. Ran out of um, I saw some more stuff on the posts yes. in there. So, well, I'm trying to get the pure, pure page rundown out there. Oh, Puck, Puck Rumor, since you're so good at making this stuff, if you could take the ideas I had there with the whole. Yeah, so I see, she's over here. So, this the Red Jacket Scientology. She wants to get a free uh, cigarette. Uh, I do not want to approach her. Uh, I don't want the uh, the claim that I'm doing anything. Hello, declared Dave. Uh, the body routers came out. Oh. Not sure who this is coming down the alley. Um, they ducked into one of the loading docks. Uh, the body routers did come out. Uh, they got to the bottom of the street. I didn't know corn was down here. Corn was down here with the camera, so that might have slowed them down. Um, got um, but I did tell them they need to go back to the org. They know they're not supposed to hand flyers out. Oh, you know what? Remind me, folks. I have to tell them that everybody's stats are down or nobody, don't worry, nobody else is getting gains either. Not sure if anybody's checking in on the other channel. So Xenu is probably back at the front door. And when I say Xenu, I'm saying free Xenu project. Uh, I'll check and see if they went inside. No, you're allowed to, to hand out in the city of Chicago. Oh, this is Jessica ahead of me. Jessica's heading over to... Uh... Hi, Jess. Do not wave back. She has some lovely flowers with her. Uh, one of our friends from across the street is out here tonight. Did they go back inside? Yep. Um, so, all right, they'll, they'll again keep on trying to poke out the back. Um, like I said, the guy in the dark, he's been here. He's the guy that I've caught routing all the time. The guy in white just showed up whatever, whatever day they're showing. Uh, no, so that, I think that's also a staff member. And she's now over two blocks having a cigarette. 
uh, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, but other if she well in the back, they walked out twice and they had to walk right back in. They couldn't have a cigarette because I was back there. <laughs> um, and I don't want to. Thank you so much. I don't want to approach a single female on an empty street. So. Oh, and by the way, Jessica just crossed. Jessica just got some flowers across the street and went into imprint. Um, she's the one that uh, was trying to route the person that pulled the guy by the arm away from me a couple of weeks ago. All right, I'm gonna go get the back. Uh, I have not seen Chadwick today. Uh, so again, today we've got corn out here. Uh, did did Shannon head home? Did Shannon head home? No, that was Shelly something. Um, did Shannon and uh, Israel go home? Uh, I, I guess that uh, Shannon wanted to go home. Israel said he's coming back. Okay, cool. I like how they had the two, the two people on one channel. Uh, I'm gonna head up to the top of the alley. Um, uh, Free Zenu. And by the way, if you guys can, if anybody's at a computer, if you can monitor Free Zenu uh, as well as me uh, and Corn Freak, um, just give me a heads up if you see. Uh, give me a heads up if you see them uh, come out a door that I'm not at. Thank you, Dave. Hopefully you had a nice visit with whomever you had to visit with last night. And folks, if you get a chance to, um, go get, get us a subscribe over to uh, Declare Dave. He's kind of a roving protester because Cincinnati's org is just, it's not that easy to uh, protest at. So you'll find him out and about, uh, and you want those notifications on just to know where is, where's Dave at now. Uh, there's a bicycle exiting the south uh, part of the alley, but that's not uh, gonna be one of us. Thank you, Sally. Thanks, Sally. A beautiful day today. Today, actually, you know how most of the time I, I dread the fact that the org uh, is in the shade in the afternoon. It is so warm out here today that I'm very grateful that it's, uh, ouch. Although that is easy. I, I think that's such easy driving to do that. Set the cruise and go. That is awesome, Bridge. And I saw, wait, where did, Nance went to uh, Austin, I think, right? And by the way, so I, I don't think Squirrel Fest is associated with um, Scientology, uh, uh, Scientology protesters. Um, what is Squirrel Fest? Is that a music fest down there? Because I know that Austin's weird and has all kinds of stuff. Um, but what is the real occasion of Squirrel Fest? Looks like they had a good time on the street. The other one I thought was uh, interesting just now is um, when Jessica uh, was heading back to the imprint apartments, which by the way, that's twice she's gone back to imprint apartments. Um, maybe she is somebody who lives in the, uh, in the apartments in the studio. Um, I just would have imagined that the uh, the salary at Dream Exchange would probably have been a high dollar uh, salary, and maybe they're just so committed to. Hello, Amber. Hopefully, we can get a chat after this. Uh, after I head home tonight. Gotcha. So here's the squirrel fest. 
That's awesome. Uh, but oh, uh, earlier when I saw Jessica, she had uh, a little bouquet of flowers, and, uh, just grocery store flowers. So she's going to pretty up the studio, I'm guessing. Howdy, kid freshy. Yeah, boy, come on in. Uh, there's somebody at the very far end of the alley, um, but it looks like it's just somebody trying to grab a smoke break. I don't, I don't see them moving up the alley yet uh, in that spot. Now, since we did see the body routers attempt to get out, um, I'm sure they'll make several more efforts um, in, in that space, but. Ha <laughs> uh, So you can see uh, taller female long hair just walked out. And the security guard. So is she going to come up or is she going to go down? So I'm actually just looking through the camera right now. Ah, the body router is going south. Security guard is going to bring him back. Hi guys, <laughs> they just look back. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's one that we've seen with Chadwick several times. I want to, I, I just kind of want to, they're going to go around the corner a second. And I, when they look back, I want them to see a clean alley. Yeah, so they've gone around the corner. I'm going to hustle up to the corner so you get to hear out of breath windy every once in a while. Yeah, and it felt like, I, I can't tell if she was doing a side hustle or um, something else in real estate and then in marketing. Yeah, so they've, uh, they've walked across the street. They look back, oh, now they're running. <laughs> I'm going to head south. They went north on Federal. I'm sorry, Dearborn. No, Federal. Federal. I'll head back up there because the light's not in my favor right now. It was funny. The uh, the one in the dark coat did run a little bit. So we're going to hustle again. Now what they might do here is try to sneak in the back of 
No, they can't. Right. So in the back of this alley, they can get an imprint. Oh, and I looked left, but you guys couldn't. Yes, there are police in the neighborhood. There's a little park in the middle, so you might have seen Depressive Dave, I'm sorry, Declare Dave and Suppress it, Sherry, in there with me last night. Yeah, so I got him. They're heading through the parking lot on the far side of Dearborn. I think there's another residence back here on this block uh, that I've seen some of the older um, staff members walk into. I'm just gonna run up the street, kind of shadowing. I'm gonna have to bring um, multiple shirts in the future so that I can kind of uh, trick them up on costume changes. <laughs> it's funny, they, they turned to run the other way. If anybody has Scientology's number, let them know I'm a marathoner. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Over in the uh, the printer's row park. Declare, Dave, I found something. There was a um, a little children's flashcard in the alley, and it uh, it was a duck. Where you see the people walking in right now, I'm pretty sure that's where um, there's a secondary residence for some of the staff members. He just looked back. Now I wonder if they're trying to say, hey, Hit the corner and run. So let me kind of get up to the corner quickly. Got a siren in the neighborhood. So. And to the earlier question, would they go that far away from the org? I'm pretty sure we're getting the answer. Yes, they'll go that far away from the orc. Nice. <laughs> yeah, squirrels are evil. If they believe so much in their church, I don't know why they don't hand it out.
So they're heading towards um, Michigan Avenue. So they're on State Street right now. We're at State Street in Balboa, which is 700 South. Uh, the next street that they'll get to is Wabash and then Michigan Avenue. Please note, I'm keeping a respectful distance. I am the width of a street behind them. I mean, no ill will towards these two people. I just want to be able to inform anybody that they deliver their propaganda to. They have a First Amendment right to deliver their bullshit propaganda. Propaganda. I have a First Amendment right to inform people of what they just received. We're coming past Buddy Guy's Legends. Uh, if you've heard me before, um, blue band, blues bands don't really have bands. They get together and they play music when they want to play music. Um, most of it is on uh, a similar beat mechanism. So it's a 42 count blues, more often than not. Uh, so since you know the rules, you can syncopate all you want. And it's so fun to watch musicians play with one another. I mean, uh, in my younger days, I used to work on Michigan Avenue, and one of the things that we would do is I would come down here at lunchtime, and you just walk in, and they'd just be going through their jam sessions. So, some of the cool stuff. I'm still tickled that they tried to run earlier. Some more uh, graffiti. The one is uh, Votes for Women. And uh, I'm Thinking uh, from Kamala, uh, Kamala Harris. As we come forward, we're coming up to the Hilton. There's some graffiti in that alley and it's in a shadow so I don't think the camera's going to pick it up right now. Now uh, just check in on Frizino and Corn and see if they're going to send another team out. How you doing? So the, the valet guys at um, Hilton have the same uh, Oops, sorry. Sally it was, for some reason I can't click on comments right now uh, it 100% is a, a joy to, to be in there in, the, in those um, jam sessions and you can tell that they're just trying to impress one another and they 100% give kudos to anybody that uh, is doing that. Like they can tell, they can tell when somebody just did a good riff and they give you credit for that. So. So now they're trying the, uh, I'm going to stay on this side. They finally learned to split up. You know what, I'm not as worried about new guy. I'm going to follow.
if there is anybody in the area, White Jacket is walking north on Michigan Avenue, but on the west side of the street. Hi. So, you got no, on YouTube, this guy is from Scientology, and he's trying to pass out flyers. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to avoid him from doing that, or prevent him from doing that. Uh, if there's anybody in the area, um, I could definitely use some help uh, following the other person. He's about a block up on me. I can still, I still have eyes on him. He's now walked north. He'll be in front of the Congress pretty quickly. Uh, the Congress Hotel. Uh, I haven't seen white guy pass anything out yet. And again, I've made a 50-50 decision here. Uh, I had to, to pick one or the other, couldn't pick them both. Don't worry, nobody else is getting gains either. I'm crushing everybody's stats. If you can't get them in there, they can't convert them. We can help you out anytime you want out. Look up Lisa McPherson the next time you get a chance to. I think they're going to try and join up again because I can see. I just, I think that they think they're clever and, and that's what's cute about it. Or as my other bald headed friend would say, that's adorable. Thank you, Deborah. My goal is to make sure nobody enters. I can't get people out of the church. I want to prevent people from joining. Them. Next time you're on Google, look up Lisa McPherson. It's a cult. It's the cult of Scientology. They're going to make you spend money. They're going to come in and give you a personality test. And then they're going to tell you these little nickly dime things that are wrong with you and make you buy a book. So it, do you want that? Thank you. Do you want yours? <laughs> Thank you. I like to bring it back to him. So again, if you ever look it up, Scientology, it's absolutely a cult. There are so many crimes. Danny Masterson, Lisa McPherson, look up any of those crimes. So I think I'm going to get the most tickets this week. But I was, I'm going to give him kudos. Um, he had the canards to pass them out in front of him. So. Now, remember, the, uh, the white shirt, I think, is north of me on Michigan Avenue.
So with this hotel, he can walk in this door and walk out any of four hotel or four doors. Uh, just kind of watch in both corners real quick. Now I can always run north a couple of blocks. I'm going to run across the street real quick to see if he jumped over there, but I don't think he did. No. The tough one here is from the Congress. He can walk all the way down to... Um, Harrison. There's an awful lot of windows, so he can see out the window, uh, measure my movements. Folks, you're about to do some training with me. I'm going to run around the block a couple of times here. See if we can reacquire. Now, I should be able to find the white jacket pretty easily because he does stand out in the crowd. This guy stands out in the crowd, too. Um, they tend to like to be in Paris, so there's every chance that as soon as he uh, he saw I was out of sight, he might try to get back on a Michigan Avenue and go north to find his buddy. And in, in jog mode, I can't really uh, see the chat. I'll catch up when I pause. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of uh, second gens that escaped um, would either have a burner phone or something else.
but yeah, there's, I, I believe that they kind of trick you into installing a piece of software on your phone, uh, on your computer that is able to, it's basically a key, a key logger. So we're back on Michigan Avenue. <clears throat> Definitely try to let uh, Frizinu and Corn know that uh, they might come back that direction. I doubt they will. Uh, again, they're off campus, so um, if they can evade me, they might have some success. But we'll keep on trying to resolve that. Yes, please do. And I also probably need a new pair of running shoes soon. head north and see if I can find white jacket guy and then I'll kind of scan back this direction. Because when he thinks he's lost me, and by the way, he has lost me right now. Um, he's probably going to make a phone call to white, white folk. Earlier, I told you about the um, the pedway, and this is a fake pedway. So if you go down here, you can get about two blocks in each direction, and you can walk over to the train station. But you can't get to that that pedway that you've seen me walk on before. And I am taking a gamble that he's on this side of the street because most of the um, commuters that walk Michigan Avenue walk this side, not the park side, only because you're coming out of buildings on this side. Imagine these streets. Uh... Imagine these streets on a busy summer day. Now we are what just after yet yeah, five o'clock. So activities are starting to uh, heat up. Oof, this is a target rich location. So matinee theater has just let out. This is the, uh, not theater, symphony. Yeah. 
This would be ugly if he was up in here. Uh, looking over towards the Art Institute. All right, let's see if we got the motion back down at the Congress. And I'd be curious if the guys out on the street, to uh, no one's earlier statement, if the guys out on the street have access to YouTube or not. I think that would be extremely risky if they were to let... Uh, if they were to let us, th these are newer members, by the way. Yeah, so you're right that you know maybe it's being watched in the in the org, and then their uh, signaling directions out here. This building on our right is uh, three ten South Michigan. It used to be called the Bankers Building. This is where a lot of banking rules were set. And it used to have a very beautiful lobby. Like this is a, um, a two roof lobby uh, in here originally. Sorry, I was paying attention. I thought I could zip across here real quick, but I, I don't think I'm gonna get out over there. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, and Natalie talks of um, when, she, at least when she was here in Chicago, I think I've heard her on the channel before as well. Um, she would do searches um, in incognito and then wipe her history uh, every night. And that's got to be a scary thing because uh, I feel like it's it's like an amped up prison yard that in prison, every once in a while they'll come and they'll go through your entire room to see if you've got any contraband. I get the impression in Scientology that could be multiple times a day uh, if you were a staff member or definitely if you're a Sea Org member. Again, keeping in mind, I don't think that these guys are Sea Org. Um, if they are, they're Sea Org on loan because this is not a Sea Org base. Sorry, I'm scanning um, just aggressively. This was the hotel he walked into. Nice day.
this is where we last had contact. Oh, one second. There was a similar frame person walking down there, but it's two people together. That is good to hear. We're back out in front of Congress on Michigan Avenue. I am going to head back on Harrison just to see if they went back that direction. I assume none of you has seen um, or heard anything in Prezuna's chat or Corn's chat. Mute again, the, the barbershops play music pretty loud. That sun is bright. Look at my, uh, I can't even see it. I'm trying to look at my mic, see how long the, uh, much battery we've got left on that. One second, I want to see if I can power my mic while it's in here. No, can't see the darn thing right now. Excellent. Oh, sorry about that. Now the, uh, the gimbal's not happy. See if we can get a little more uh, juice in here. Now remember, one of the things that I'm always trying to do is make sure that I'm giving them a respectful distance and I just let, I let too much leash out.
we'll see if we can find them again. Uh, And I'm struggling when I look this direction, I've got the sun in my eyes. So really don't have a good field of vision. Like in our on this one, so I don't think that was the gimbal as much as what I have right now is I have a cable plugged into my DJI mic. And that's ooh. I see a white jacket way up there. Um I'm back on State Street, not really seeing anything. Um, I have a cable that's in the DJI mic to see if it'll charge, and it looks like it does charge. The problem is, is that um, if I don't keep the gimbal low enough, then um, it'll force tilt the gimbal, and that's what caused that... Uh, that goofiness. Yeah. I've got this a little lower right now. I do like the smoothness of the gimbal. Um, but yeah, there are some limitations. I feel like, well, with my battery, I can I can plug in the gimbal forever and it'll stay powered. Um, uh, all right, I'm unplugging my mic. And I'm gonna plug the, the gimbal back in. So when the mic goes, the mic goes. Uh, and it's a little bit harder if I'm just using the phone. Cross the street, get in the shade so my eyes don't go nuts. Sorry, I lost them this time, guys. I'm sure we'll pick them up again. We are heading back to Clark Street. See if we can find Freezing Who and Corn or if Beta is still there. Head across here real quick. See if I can re recruit uh, Zeno to go uh, ducky hunting with me.
Where? Here in Chicago. I don't know. There's some march going on. So I was worried because I was like, oh no, where's Wendy? So yeah, I'm fine. I didn't see any activity. Um, yeah. Did it give you a neighborhood or anything? It was just sort of fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sally. I, yeah, I'm back here. I see them all. Um, so, oh no. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Garbage. I have the most tickets this month. What are they tickets for? Well, it's free admission to go in and uh, watch films for Dianetics. <laughs> you get to, huh? Yeah. I love the way you go that. Um, you get to. Is this staff coming up the street? Don't worry, everybody's stats are down. Maybe we'll get them next time. Have a good night at the cult. Yeah, I saw that. I'm back in the. I'm back here. So I uh, was able to chase them quite a bit. Uh, they split up, which smart. Um, and then one of them went into the Harrison or the Hilton Hotel. And he could come out and he had four doors, so no idea where he's at now. Yeah. But we'll find him. Did you hear what Zena was saying? Yeah. Did you hear I didn't. About it? So it's, there's no police activity anywhere in this direction. So I've been probably in a six block radius. I didn't have heard anything either. You would think that for something like that, you would hear plenty. So, Again, it's a big city. And, and last night there was a lot of problems on the south side. So I think there was, okay. um, there were bang, bang going. activities going on down there. So, Dempsey, hello again. So, Wendy's been walking around and he hasn't seen anything, you know, police activity this way. So I'm sure we'll hear something. Right. Uh, it'll be on, if you look at the Citizen app, I'm sure it's going to be on there yeah. if, you, if you've got the paid version. Uh, the other, just a, a reminder that uh, on a typical weekend in Chicago, it's somewhere between 13 and 19 bang, bang incidents. Yeah. yeah. Now, this one, it sounds like people. Is mass. Yeah. That's really uh, uh, the, the mass was, yes, there was a mass yesterday. Oh, my God. And well, by the no, way, I think that mass was maybe like four, four people, not four is enough, but. I'm going to have to get whatever app you have so that I can be more in on the news. That was I, just a, a new, like Google News or something like that. Okay. You can tell that most of my yes. news <laughs> these days. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I don't know. I, I have a smart news app. I'll, right. So I'll open that sometimes, but it's always dumb stuff first. And it, right. I'm like, how is this smart news? Come on. I want to know that. Yes, yes. So I've got TCB and Dempsey. Are you okay supporting a cult? Oh, look, our friend again. He likes to be on film now. Got a great shot of you yesterday. Pretty sure she's up. She's going to get her uh, snack at the uh, grocery store. Ah, red coat is back in there. I wonder 
sometimes that guy's job is to report um, how close you're getting it and if she's feeling anything and if she's going to need to get a session to get that out and also to accuse of selling her. Yeah, well, I think he's more that, like the police yeah. ally of saying, you know, he's a credible witness now because... Um, but you, you were nowhere near and I correct. showed that. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I'd say mine shows good distance yeah. as, as well, but I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, normally, he goes right back in when he sees me. So he does not want to be on, on camera uh, or anything. Because that's a different guy, huh? No, that's it. So this guy's been here three nights in a row. Oh, okay. So... Um, but he's definitely no uh loose jackets and no. that okay no. so, so look at that you guys that is uh we're gonna call that a success they're, they're learning yeah they are learning i was out here that day and i i had seen that one of y'all had already caught him wearing a police jacket so i thought you know what i'm gonna ask him it's the one time i got brave to walk up and ask something so he was just standing there like he wanted us to see that he was police. right so i went up and asked him and he didn't answer me the first time and then he pointed to his thing and said he's security. And so I said, well, what does that mean? And he, I just kept talking until he went back in. And then I, he wasn't here with me that day, but he made a call from afar and reported that, yeah, and we haven't seen them wear the police jackets. Yep. Nice. There you go. Love it. You could not have heard anything. Yeah, and that one's really you're clear. Officer, yeah, that that ordinance is really clear. Yes. Yeah. Because I need to know what authority do you have. Right. What? Yes. Just like the day of the opening. But they were given, they were given the leeway to have that authority over us by the real police officers. The real police are here and saw that they You can't deputize. They can't deputize. That's bullshit. No, what I mean though is. In, in uh, theory, by right. not standing oh, up for us, by 100%. not, yeah. yeah. To me, that is deputizing them yep. that day because who else can stop them? Right. Not yeah. us, clearly. Right. Yeah. We would have got, we know we would have got arrested. We would have broke through. If not mowed down, right. Have you ever thought about going in, like no camera? Just um, no, but I I have, there, I know somebody's going in soon. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've had a lot of uh, young people stop to ask us. And, um, That's excellent. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it's like truly curious. They were just taking a bike ride, stopped one to ask questions. Yeah. I thought I'd put the major risks right yes. out there at short word. Nice, you know, on the purification, word. right? Yes. That's, that was my main focus this week. And April It's is, a cult, you know, right? Oh, April's child abuse awareness uh, or prevention did have the little stickers to get off to any kids I saw, but I haven't really seen any kids. Uh, and I, they're probably at home from Amazon. And then did you see the guy that we talked to who's a, um, a mine? No. Yes, it was a young couple from the college. <laughs> then you couldn't have been talking to him if he was a mine. <laughs> well, he was, he was a clown slash mine, and he was, yeah, you got to go back and watch. Okay. But he was, he was talking about how he was the acting is a lot like what they do because, you know, if you and the, the effects that things have on your body, <clears throat> if you believe it's true, the placebo effect, basically. Right. So, like, whenever he's acting or improvising, if he's supposed to pretend that he's picking up a weight, he's going to strain his muscles and everything so he can pretend it. His body's still going to have the effect or his, and his brain's going to think, oh, you just picked up something yep. heavy. Absolutely. Same thing with the physiological effects of trauma still being there. Our body remembers, but our body doesn't. <laughs> It's lost the connection to the brain to tell us. Yes, we have seen Chadwick today. Um, just maybe 20 minutes ago, we had a, a Chadwick sighting. Nice. He was dressed in a gray suit, kind of nice. It looked kind of like what you'd wear to a wedding if I had found him 100%. <laughs> and I heard that they moved to the wedding, so wouldn't it be like them to... Right. Somebody's about to come out. Well, somebody at least hit the door here. Are you going to the cult? Are you going into the cult?
All right, folks. I think I am going to uh, head out. Yeah, I'm going to walk back past. Um, I'll see if I can reacquire him. And if I do, maybe I'll go back live again. But we'll yeah. go from there. Yeah, yeah. If you find him again. And then if you hear any news, maybe send Definitely. us a message. Yeah. We'll do. Let us know what's going on. We'll do. And so I can know also that it's not anywhere. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can figure out what location it is. Yep. Uh, 5.30. All right. I'm going to head out. I'm going to see if I can get back. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if I can reacquire them. If I do, I'll turn it back on. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Excuse me. I have a fist on the bump here. Sorry. I saw some great clips. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, All right. Do we have another live that we can go raid? I'm going to be here. Uh, I, I could probably go live. They're live. They're yeah. Live. Right? Yeah. So th they probably will. So they probably will. So corn's, corn's still out here. Um, no, I'm going to turn mine off. I'll, so, off. I'll go on to corn. Okay. Right. Cool. So which one is it? Oh, yeah. And by the way, tell me what yours are so I can save it for tonight. Remind me where I just was. So actually, let me just do one thing. This is what, what a move. That's you. Okay. Of course I will. I just want to make sure. Save to watch later. Subscribe. Um, and then, of course, I know yours. Cool. Thank you so much, Bina. Thank you for being out here. I appreciate it. And by the way, I, I really mean it when I say it, that if you just sit here, it forces them out the back, and I can go out the back. Okay. Like, that's... One of the things that I really like when other is people right come now? out. Uh, yes. You'll probably see. Uh, I think there's a lag. You'll see it, it show yeah. up there in a second. <laughs> All right. Is, yeah, your hands went far. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, Sally, if you want to go and add, uh, either divert them to corn or if there's uh, other lives out there, um, let everybody know they can go raid. I am going to shut it down. I might come back on if I find those people. Oh, and by the way, we'll go from there. Um, I'll tell you. Good. All right. I'll, I'll text you. I'll text you. I'll send you.